Group station by my guys. Very tired. I'll be running up and down all day. Trying to sort out a few last minute bits and bits, you know, for the trip. Just got here at the station now. And I'll look at the screen. Just got the name of my. Just got the number of my coach. And I can see that Chester is not even the last stop on the journey. See, I never realized that when I booked the ticket. Um, so, it very much looks like I'm gonna have to wake up in the middle of the night. I should get to Chester around 5.20, that's what it said online anyway. Um, so I'm gonna have to go in the alarm and uh, wake up at around 5 o'clock to make sure I don't miss my stop. Which is going to be absolutely brutal. So not the best news to start the journey. All right, guys, just landed in Chester. Met some other people actually that are also playing Pokemon Go. They were in my coach. I didn't realize they were there. Um, we're now just roaming around this ghost town it looks like a ghost town right now <laughs> there's no one here it looks pretty nice though and um yeah we're just looking for somewhere to hang out for the next few hours it's currently five to six in the morning so we have another four hours before the event officially starts So the event officially starts at 10 a.m. But we're just out here with other people that we're just meeting randomly. There is a whole bunch of people outside. I mean, of all ages, all walks of life already out. At barely 8 in the morning. Uh, checking out the city, kind of trying to get familiar with it. Seeing as most of us are not from around here. Uh, which makes a lot of sense because, of course, we want to be in tip-top shape later on when everything kicks off. Um, and so, despite how tired I am, I've gotten about two hours aggregate of sleep in total today. I am fully ready for this. It is going to be a very long day, guys. It's going to be a very long day, but already looks very promising. The weather looks much better than they uh, forecasted, and the views are glorious. And they just keep getting more and more glorious at every turn. They did say it was an ancient city with a lot to see and um, so far it's not disappointing. Right, for, so for, the, for those of you that don't know what's going to be happening tonight, today here in Chester, uh, basically, the Chester Pokemon Go event uh, is going to be a city-wide event. It's going to be unticketed so anybody can take part in it. Uh, it is not going to be um, off limits. It's not going to um, affect the city in any way. There's not going to be any off limits uh, roads or, or, or parts of, of the town. Um, it's just going to be the town running as usual. There's going to be stewards around and there's going to be four points where people can go and get their passports. Their passports will enable them to um, take part in activities and once they get the activities done they will be able to get their passports stamped. Um, and I think with the passport stamps you can get like access to other perks like uh, in the castle for example I know there's going to be like free food and other sort of smaller activities that are non Pokemon Go related like um, Tug Wars and stuff like that um, and obviously it's also a token um, a souvenir um, that symbolizes that you've been here to Chester for the Pokemon Go event and um, yeah other than that uh, we also have to support the Pokemon Go Fest uh, participants by catching as many Pokemon as possible so that's going to be like the sub theme running along throughout all these other activities that we may do in our spare time but I mean depending on you know what sort of trainer you are you may prefer I mean 
catching the Pokemons may not be a priority for you and actually instead the activities may be more of a priority if you're more into history and so on and want to learn about the city um, or vice versa so yeah I think it kind of caters to a large variety of people is it oh, is it not this way oh looks like um, we're looking for the castle right now again just part of like our effort at kind of picturing what the city looks like roughly before the main event starts so the girls are doing a great job here asking locals not because we don't want to adventure ourselves but just because we've been walking around for a bit now if we if we do manage to support Pokemon Go Fest successfully oh, yeah. then the mystery challenges will be unlocked for them over there if the mystery challenges are unlocked for them over there then the legendaries will be unlocked for everybody as I've explained on my other video so that's kind of like the event in a nutshell guys we're finally here at the highlight of uh, the event pretty much or well this far anyway um, we're going to be grabbing our passports in about um, 10 minutes and this is the queue right here as you can see it starts all the way here we didn't quite think of that didn't anticipate it and so now we are so late you can see the queue stretches all the way across the square So yeah, this passport is basically going to be um, our way around the event, any activity we take part in, we will be marking on this passport, uh, it will be recorded on there, and then we will have the chance to have a personalised Pokestop in our hometown. Um, if we manage to, I think, um, was like complete all the um, activities assigned, so go ahead. Let's see if you can make it. Like no one ever was. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much. Go to the next one. Okay, so done now. For you. Thank you. Here it is, guys. Here is the Pokemon Go passport. This is basically the official material of this event. Say yay! Show us how happy. You are. <laughs> this is it. Um, apparently, we were speaking to some of the staff earlier, and they were telling us how this is actually comes directly from Japan. So it's got the official proper. Pokemon um, certificate with it, which I suppose is this one in the middle. Um, and well, I mean, one of them has come from the US, from Niantic, and the other one has come from Japan. I don't know which one it is, but I think it's the certificate that came from Japan. Um, that being said, yeah, we are ready to go and get a crack at these activities now. I think that's the first of the lot. Viking show. Remember, the event is partly aimed at uh, sort of 
displaying Chester's historical sites. Sort of what life was like here in Chester some time ago. Here we are at the cathedral on our way to get our certificate. So the question is how many angels are there above the door? Okay, let's see. Those are not angels. <laughs> Elizabeth, those are not angels. <laughs> People are really engaged. I really expect people to be so engaged in the historical aspect of the of the game. But I think once you're here, you kind of don't really have a choice. You kind of have to just play the game. Um, and there is just a nice vibe to play this game. Everything around is like so historic, um, so like ancient. It's just all that feel. They kind of just feel like learning more about these things. And it's not really very complicated questions, as you saw on the sheet. It's very kind of simple, fun, kind of trivia. Um, so I think yeah, it's going really well. And bear in mind that. The main event hasn't even started yet. In the US, they're still sleeping. So we over here are just buying our time, just enjoying ourselves, exploring the city. And by the time they wake up and they start their missions, so to speak, then we're already gonna be well warmed up. Our battery's probably a little worn down. But yeah, bring it on. I think it is looking like an exciting day so far.
Alright guys, good afternoon. As you can tell, um, I've just woken up from an afternoon nap. Um, I am at an Airbnb right now. I'm being hosted by a lovely uh, Mexican lady. Um, over here, just um, about 20 minutes away from <clears throat> the center of Chester Town. Um, it's now 3.30 on the dot. And uh, I've uh, checked what's been happening on the Discord group. We've got um, raids, mainly just raids, and trying to catch as many of the um, rare spawns that there are because they, they did uh, increase the spawns for Chester, uh, specifically for this event. So we are seeing increased Snorlaxes. There have been reports of Mareeps, a lot of Dratinis, um, Jigglypuffs, um, and a bunch of other fairy type Pokemons. So yeah, guys. Um, on the Discord group, just like um, on the Facebook page for the Pokemon Go um, uh, London event, there's been a lot of um, complaints already um, regarding how crappy the event is and whatnot. Um, I think the best thing for us uh, to do is basically just ignore such comments um, at this point because they are really premature, the event hasn't even finished yet. Um, and people are already saying stuff like that, which isn't isn't helpful at all. You know, it just kills the atmosphere. Um, not all of us are able to handle such kind of um, comments. Some people are less able to tolerate um, criticism. So, um, for those of me, for those of, for those like me who can take any kind of criticism all day every day. I mean. I did graduate in the, um, psychology after all, and I did um, one of my um, end, end year modules was CBT, so I am halfway uh, to uh, uh, practicing CBT um, therapist. So I am by training sort of built to take on a lot of criticism, a lot of negativity. It's nothing um, hard for me, but I do appreciate that. For a lot of other people it might not be the case they might get really stressed out and anxious when they hear complaints like that um so what i would advise you if you're one of those people just ignore those kind of comments because remember that's their personality that that's their, their personal view that's their perception of the event they might be in a different part of town or in a different part of the world even if they're saying that the event is crap and you have to actually even respect that to a certain extent because it might not be as great everywhere um other than that, yeah, just um, keep pushing and keep trying to make the event as best as you can because at the end of the day, it's us that's going to make the event any great. This is the one sort of difference that you'll notice between this sort of event and, say, a music festival where everything is already done for you and all you have to do is basically go and enjoy the event. This is slightly different. It's a community-driven game and it only makes sense that the event will be community-driven as well. Certificate before the global challenges unlock.